Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about volvulus. What is volvulus? Volvulus is the twisting of a loop of intestine about its mesenteric point of attachment. We know that intestines are connected to the posterior abdominal wall by the mesentery. So if there is any twisting of the mesentery, then we will get Bulbulus. What happens in bulbulus? Obstruction in the lumen of the intestine. So, bulbulus is an important cause of intestinal obstruction. Obstruction in the flow of the blood supply to the intestine and also return of blood from the intestine via the vein is obstructed. That will lead to congestion, infraction of the intestine gangrene formation there will be degeneration necrosis of cell then there will be gangrene formation is possible perforation peritonitis and shock that is also possible in bulbulus in the late stages if it is untreated what is the site of bulbulus what is the site of bulbulus most common site is the sigmoid colon most common specifically in the elderly person then cecum small intestine rarely stomach stomach if it has no ligamentous support then st stomach may also be twisted transverse colon rarely it may be twisted it may lead to bulbulus sigmoid colon is the most common small intestinal bulbulus is common in infant What is the usual pain characteristic of bulbulus? Refer pain to the hypogastrium or the umbilical region of the abdomen. What are the signs and symptoms of bulbulus? Abdominal distension, nausea, vomiting, abdominal guarding, occasionally palpable mass by the physician or the medical student and find out the mass. What are the etiology and risk factor for bulbulus? Bowel with a long mesentery like sigmoid colon has more chance to get bulbulus. Constipation, distorted mesentery by tubercular nodes, intestinal malrotation, adhesion, history of previous surgery, increasing age, age over 60, neuropsychiatric disorder, Maybe Parkinson's disease, one of the neurological diseases. Residence in a nursing home. So, what are the investigations for bulbulus? Typically, we do the blood test, look light levels, blood thyroid function test, serum thyroid function test. It's a routine test, but most important are these. Abdominal X-ray will get huge coffee bean appearance. Abdominal X-ray. Barium enema will look in the next slide. Bars big formation. CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis real sign. Okay. Here. By barium enema, we get the bars big sign. Barium enema may not be indicated in case of perforation, peritonitis, or gangrene. It is actually contraindicated in that situation. If the plain X ray abdomen does not catch the bulbulus, then some physicians like to go through barium enema with some precaution and following the indications and avoiding the contraindications. So, this is the bulbulous large intestine the sigmoid colon mostly here bulbulous okay again another image from the microsoft powerpoint creative common online we have the real sign here is the real sign this is very important very sensitive test for the bulbulous diagnosis what is the management of bulbulus? 
Bulbulus is an emergency and the patient should be referred to the hospital as soon as possible. Conservative management, decompression by sigmoid scope or by a chronoscope. Sigmoid scope for the sigmoid bulbulus. Chronoscope may be useful for cecal bulbulus, bulbulus in the, in the cecum area. Placement of latus tube it is also part of treatment of measurement of the conservative management, placement of latus tube, surgical management if there is any necrosis, perforation, gangrene formation, history of repeated bulbulus, then surgeon will take out that that part and connect to other end, healthy ends together. And that's all about bulbulus. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.